What's good, y'all? El Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share. It's dope content if you like it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. Now, this joint right here is about my guy, Pretty Black. Yeah, man, Pretty Black from out of Eden World Projects. You heard? BX nigga, you heard? That was my guy. Met him up in Clinton, you heard? 1999, he came to Clinton. I think he was 5'9 Brim, you heard? And um, when he came to Clinton, it was, a, it was a lot of people in Clinton, you heard? But I think he came to Clinton after the, the, a lot of niggas left, you heard? Because that, that riot jumped off with Peachy in the yard where he stabbed up the Latin King dude. Rest in peace to my guy Peachy, you know what I'm saying? And a whole bunch of homies went in that joint, you heard? You had um, you had caught Mega Blood, Mega Blood out of Queens, he went in that. Um, you had Pee Wee from out of Harlem, he went in that. Um, it was, um, you had um, Little Inch from out of Brooklyn, he went in that. You had, um, you had, um, you had, um, you had, um, you had a, a few homies, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I got, I didn't, I, I popped off, I didn't get a chance to pop off in that shit because like I told you, I was only like two, three niggas and it was like, um, it was like 13, it was about 10 of us out there and Niggas chasing niggas down the motherfucking, um, chasing niggas off the courts because it was go back and niggas chasing niggas around the yard and the, and the, and the police bust shots that night. So I, when, when nigga me had bad being all of us was about to run over there, the niggas already was busting shots. Niggas had to jump on the floor. I ain't getting shot from these niggas. So boom. So I didn't get a chance to get in that shit. But at the end of the day, when we got, I got locked up on three day investigation, your analysis, cell search, the niggas went in my went in my photo album. I had a picture out of the source magazine of a pit bull dog. And um it, I had it in my photo album as just decorations, cause you know jailhouse niggas is mad creative. Niggas decorate up everything. I don't care because we, we living in dirt, we living in filth, we around nothing but um nastiness. So basically niggas is into trying to clean up and decorate up. Everything, every little space that you got or any little property that you got, I don't care if it's a picture, you might put, you might write on it to decorate it up. You know what I'm saying? You might put, a, a, you might take a, a, a certain, certain words out of a magazine and put, paste them on your picture just to decorate your picture up. So in jail, prisoners, convicts, killers, um, um, criminals, niggas don't have nothing to do in jail. So niggas get creative and niggas get creative and just on everything that they do. I don't give a fuck if they making a weapon to um, drawing a picture to um, singing a tune, you heard? Niggas trying to get creative, you heard? So basically, um, I just took a, a picture of a pit bull. It was, a, it was an album cover of one of them Down South dudes, album cover. I think the album name was Big Dog, you heard? Had nothing to do with no blood shit. Had, no, had nothing red. No, Yo, it's word of my mother just to get me, just to mess me up. I, I was, I just came up for minimum. You heard my my, my my classification just came up for minimum, and basically, word of my mother, niggas came, searched my cell, didn't didn't find nothing in my cell, took my photo album, brought me back my photo album with that page ripped out. I said next day they brought me a ticket talking about gang related material. I was sick. Sick. I already got caught like a year and a half before that with gang related material. You heard? I was sick. I'm they they putting gang related material on me. You heard? I'm you couldn't tell me I wasn't gonna beat that shit. Went to the hearing. Nigga said guilty, nigga. Gave me 90 days and suspended 45. Took everything. Good time, everything. Everything, you heard? Um Suspended when they when they t when they give you ninety days and they suspend forty five that means you got to do forty five days out the ninety you heard like he that's how bullshit he knew it was because he suspended forty five days of it come on man you giving niggas ninety days for some fake ass game picture and then you suspending forty five because you know that it's excessive you heard like, like them niggas was wild nigga up north so boom so when I went to D block for forty five days. Came back, I was living, went down there, mad niggas sending me shit in, you heard, cause niggas know my name sound like something, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know I'm official tissue, I was taking care of mad homies, you know what I'm saying? Looking out for homies, all that. So when I was in D-Block, 
Mad bags was coming through. Mad net bags was coming through. Cormega and them niggas was was niggas had higher rank than me and all that. Niggas ain't niggas wasn't even sending them niggas or nothing. Then you heard. And niggas just got there and popped off. You heard. You know what I'm saying? Just got there and popped off. And niggas wasn't even sending in Cormega blood nothing. Then you heard. Because you know, like he if if he was niggas, you know, certain niggas would have knew that what happened or they was gonna get something to him. But the initial week of being locked down. Over there in D block, long term, niggas, all the homies that popped off, wasn't getting really nothing sent them to them. You heard? At first, boom, I had I had like three net bags come in the first week I got over this D block. I sent mad shit down to Mega because Mega was on was in the block locked on the same company. Sent him mad shit down. Sent the home gave the homie smooth next door to me something from Brooklyn. Sent the homie up top some food, you heard? Sent the homies around the corner some food, you heard? You know what I'm saying, in D-Block, you know what I'm saying? Came in rolling. My neighbor Dutch, this nigga, Dutch a dash, I think in Dutch, this nigga used to go down and get the bag. This nigga would go down and get the bag. Nigga had, he was one of them niggas had like seven years keep lock. You know what I'm saying, for get dirty urns, you heard? That nigga didn't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, I think, I think he, I don't forgot the nigga name. I think it was Dash or Dutch. You heard? I think it was Dash, maybe from out of Harlem, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Older nigga. Nigga used to get the bag. You know what I'm saying? I was, he was my neighbor. He seen how, how niggas was saluting me. How food was coming through. How, how official I was keeping it. That nigga was, that nigga. I ain't had to ask that nigga for nothing. That nigga was passing me shit over, like clockwork. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Had a homie, homo nigga over us, Angel. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, this nigga in everybody's business. This nigga, big, doofy gangster nigga. You heard? Gangster homo nigga. You heard? Yo, I'm telling you, Clinton was crazy. So, boom, when I came out, D block, the jail done flipped. Whole bunch of different bloods. Because that's how it, Clinton used to flip. Clinton flipped. It's constantly new niggas coming in, it's constantly niggas going out. Going out on transfer, going to mediums, going to different maxes, and niggas going to the box, going to D block, going to SHU, going to S block. We heard niggas was out of here, going to Southport. Niggas was out of there. Just as many niggas was leaving, it's just as many niggas coming in. So the jail stayed like in and out, in and out. Nothing but niggas, nothing but niggas, nothing but niggas. Niggas coming in, some niggas might not last one day in that yard, you heard? Niggas might see a bandit getting it on. You heard? Boom, boom, boom. Out of there. Back in the box. These might just came out the box. You heard? Just came out the box. All they had, all they did was go through transit. They probably went through downstate to go to come to Clinton. They probably left Attica to go to come to Clinton. You heard? Or left the box to come to Clinton. And next thing you know, they step as soon as they step into jail, they gotta get it on. You heard? So jail ain't nothing sweet. All y'all young niggas thinking that it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Out here doing dumb shit. Thinking that um, y'all built for that jail shit. Well, be prepared to be on, a, be on deck every day. Every day up in the mountains is war, nigga. It's war. It's war. Every day you come to that yard, niggas is talking some shit, B. Yo, yo, something we're about to eat such and such. Yo, niggas about to hit such and such. Yo, chill. Just come up on the court. Niggas about to do this and such and such. Yo, chill. Yo, boom, boom, boom. Yo, is you, you, is you, you on deck, B. On deck? Yeah, yeah, you on deck. You, such and such is fool. Your plate, nigga. Hey, move. Get on the floor, everybody. You gone, nigga. You heard? You ain't even get right, nigga. You heard? Yeah, nigga. The nigga that you tried to get right on was ready for you. You nigga, yeah, nigga. You ain't even get right, nigga. You down, nigga. Both of y'all niggas gone. You know what I'm saying? Off to the neck, off the S block, off to another jail. That's how they was. That's how they doing niggas up north. You heard? So stay out of them shits. I tell my stories for niggas to t stay out of them shits. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I sacrifice myself. You heard? But yeah, big. You know what I'm saying? It's real up there in the field. So when I got out the population, different bloods. I always click with different homies. If you from the X, you official, we going, we gotta talk, we gotta connect. Where you from, this and that, boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom. Talk about chicks, talk about everything, you know what I'm saying? So always had a mean Bronx mom, but Pretty Black from Eden Wall, he landed there. And um, me and him connected, 
Me and him became mad cool. We spin in the yard. I'm nine Trey, he five nine Brim, I believe, at the time. And um, we spin in the yard, we doing us, doing us. He was the first dude that told me, you know if you go home, you gonna get all the bitches right now, right? I said, why you say that? He said, cuz, you look like DMX. And DMX is the man right now. I just left the street. And they got, he got the hottest shit out. Get at me, dog, and everything. You heard? Blood and blood at me. Fresh in my blood and all that shit was out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you go home right now, you be the man. You look just like DMX, B. I was like, word. I was like, yeah. I was like, I, I ain't never. I, X was my nigga. I was fucking with X at that time. So, but I ain't never look at it like that. Nobody ever told I'm in jail, but so nobody, he the first dude that ever told me that I look like DMX, you heard? Now, now I'ma tell y'all, ever since I ever since I came home, mad people, you know, every, sometimes everywhere, even when I'm out of state a lot, a lot of people, everybody be like, yo, you know you look like DMX, you know you look like DMX, cops, everything, I remember cops done, D's done put, jumped out on me to search me and all that for guns and shit, and them niggas like, yo, Ain't got nothing, they, they sick, they like, yo, you know you look like DMX, right? Anybody ever tell you that? I'm like, yeah, mad people tell me that. I hear that shit like at least once a week. I hear it like once a week, I swear to God. I hear it like once a week, you look like DMX. So I've been hearing that shit ever since Pretty Black that told me that. God bless the dead, my God, Pretty Black. He was official, crazy official from Eden War Project, you heard? You know what I'm saying? BX, you know what I'm saying? Jail nigga. He went home from that bed and I think he came right, he went back. You know what I'm saying? And then he, he passed away. You heard, I heard he died. I don't know if he got killed or he died. You know what I'm saying? It's my God, pretty black. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got I got, a picture, I got a picture of him. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I got an old picture of him. You know what I'm saying? With us and Clinton, with all the bloods, him, Cash, my son, nice, God bless that. My son, nice peoples. You heard, um, 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 nicest in that photo. Um, um, short dog is in that photo. I think um, I forgot the other homies that was in that photo, but I know it's Cash, Pretty Black, Nice, Short Dog. My light skinned dude with the he had the the great the twisters like this. He was from the BX. That was my son. I wound up seeing son in the street after I came home. That shit was wild. I came up, I, one time I got into some beef uptown, um, and um, some, I heard some blood niggas got called on me or whatever, so I, I went back uptown to see what blood niggas was talking about. I wasn't blood no more, but I went up to see what niggas was talking about, because niggas, niggas, niggas was acting like they was going to um, have beef with me for some other niggas, and um, I went up in the house, I, I gave my hand to and all that, I told them niggas I wasn't with that shit no more, but I told them niggas, I don't give a fuck about nothing, niggas can't tell me nothing, if niggas wanna get right, we can get right or whatever, and it just so happened that, and I was I was talking about up north too a little bit, cause, we, cause a nigga jumped up from Brooklyn, official nigga from, a uh, blood nigga from Brooklyn, he was from Marcy, projects out in Brooklyn, and he was up, in, he used to be up in the Bronx, he was, you know, the blood niggas, official blood niggas be everywhere, they be in Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Harlem, everywhere, you heard, so this Brooklyn nigga, he was up in the Bronx, chilling with the Bronx homies, and basically, when I was giving, talking shit, he jumped up and he, he said, yo, I think I know, I heard, I heard of you, homie, and he, he saluted me, and I saluted him, and basically, it, I calmed my energy down, that calmed my energy down a little. So basically, I got a chance to really scan the room. And when I scanned the room, I seen a nigga, that, matter of fact, the homie name was Takal, you heard? We was calling him Takal from, from the X, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Official homie, light skin with glasses. That was the homie. And he was in the room. And I was talking about up north, like I'm official, niggas know about me, I put in work. I'm not talking about one of the fashion bloods, you heard? And he jumped up. He was like, yo, L. And I was like, to Cal. And he was like, oh, shit. And then he was like, oh, shit. And he was like, the homie is official. Everything he said, he's a hundred. So that's how you know. If you out here capping, you heard, it don't matter what happened, your, your past is going to come back to haunt you. You understand what I'm saying? So boom, 
I'm like, oh shit. And I, I, I fed right off of that. Cause you know, I, was, I still was big headed and all that at that time, coming home, just coming home. So, you know, I'm not like that now. I know that anything can happen to me. And sometimes when you down with that gang shit and all that, like I told y'all in my story before, it gives you false hope. So basically, you might not, you might think that you're tougher than you think you are. You than you really are. You might you might you you might think that you got you got more um more um protection than you really got. You might think that niggas is gonna go with you when they really ain't. You understand what I'm saying? You might think that niggas is really your family and your peoples and niggas is gonna niggas gonna tear down the wall for you, but niggas ain't gonna do nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas are Niggas will be walking the yard with you every day and then niggas will flip on you and cut you and stab you and niggas will, and niggas won't niggas that was walking and walking with you every day will act like nothing never happened. Then but you got niggas that if you something happened to you, no matter what, niggas is going, you heard? Certain niggas is going, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So it, it's it's a fifty fifty. I'm just telling you it's a fifty fifty. But everybody that I connected with, everybody I comraded with we was official. I always had official team. Every spot I went to, I always get official click. I always rock with the gangsters. I always fuck with the gangsters, you heard? Young to old, you know what I'm saying? Young to old, you know what I'm saying? So my man Pretty Black, he used to be putting me up on a lot of shit. Like I told you, he was the first nigga telling me that I look like DMX, you know what I'm saying? And um, to this day, when I walk out, not every day, but and not everywhere, but almost everywhere, and almost every other couple of days or once a week, somebody go, you know, you look like DMX, or anybody ever told you, you look like DMX, or oh, you look like DMX. Or, I always hear that. I people you can tell me on the I got I got messages on the gram when I throw up certain pictures, certain videos, certain whatever. People the messaging me, yo. If DMX come out, they come out with a movie for DMX, make sure you go up and try to get a part, man. Get that part, man. Because, yo, you look just like X, B. And, and, and you know what it is with me, with me, with the X thing? It's not so much that I look like X. I do got probably resemble X, and we got the same um, features and ways. But, at, 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 but it, it, I probably got my style and everything. I, I, people... When I when people see me, I probably remind them of X. So that's that 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 that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. Females, females tell me I, I look like X, but they tell a lot of females tell me I look better than X. You know, I'm not trying to take no shots at my man, but I I, I I'm a, I'm a, I'm a better version of X. Chicks done told me you a better you a better looking version of X. So you no. Know, I just take it as I'm, I look like DMX, whatever, whatever. You heard? He was older than me. I would, I would be thinking like, damn, my pops was uptown, up there in Yonkers. You heard? I would, I would be thinking, man, I would think I was the first. No, no, no. Well, my pops up there in Yonkers? Nah, B. But yeah, B. I'm just keeping it real, man. I met a lot of official homies. Pretty Black was one of them. You heard? You ain't saying I'm saying. And um, he passed away. I can't. I don't know how he passed away, but I know he had passed away. That was my guy. You know what I'm saying? You heard? Um, I, um, Robo Just. He passed away. That was my guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, Peachy. He passed away. That was my guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, Duke Mafia. He passed away. That was my guy. You know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of dudes, blood niggas. That was my guys, man, and everybody that I just named, they put it in, you heard? They really put it in, you heard? Um, I had a lot of comrades up north, a lot of comrades up north, you know what I'm saying? A lot of comrades up north, man, and I'm going to get into that one day, you heard? Yeah, man, rest in peace, pretty black, man, my guy, Eden War Projects, BX, BX dude, you heard? Always keeping it 100, you heard? That was my guy. And everybody that know that everybody that I know that know him, they always say that that's that's their guy too. You heard? That's their guy too. BX.